Hi, it's day 10 of getting my life together. This MS journey that's taking a really long time, but I knew it would. That's why I said 365 days, right? An entire year. So yesterday, day nine, was not a good day. I did not feel well. And a lot of times what happens on those days is I still do things, but I don't remember them the next day. So I don't really remember what I talked about yesterday. I don't go back and rewatch these because like I said, it's the equivalent it's equivalent to going to a therapist and just talking and I would never want to listen go back and listen to what I said. So no. I don't ever go back and rewatch these. So hope it wasn't too crazy yesterday. And I noticed I did mention college game day, which I was very excited about. So that's great. So yeah. That's sometimes how it is with MS. You know, I can have a bad day, but still try to function. Not sometimes. I do that. That's really what I have done in the past. And I'm learning now to rest on those days. I did rest, but I still wanted to talk. And I don't know. I just felt weird. But with the MS, it's like that. I think the mental part, and I don't mean mental with the stuff I'm talking about, about my appearance or whatever. I mean mental, like really mental, like difficulty concentrating, focusing remembering things you know like I don't remember a lot about yesterday but yeah that's how it can be sometimes and it's day 10 so there will be maybe more of those days where I don't remember so I hope you still enjoy it well I don't know if anyone really enjoys these but it is helpful for me and yeah it is very helpful <laughs> my son said I should get a script but you know what is a script just sounds like I don't know I'm just gonna memorize the script and come and start talking you know I don't read the script the script reads me <laughs> I don't know if anybody knows where that's from if you do then please comment about that that would be really great but that was really funny <laughs> but this isn't anything I think about really beforehand I just get on here and just I mean I think about what kind of day I've had but that's pretty much it I don't have something that I talk about you know any specific thing or particular thing that I really want to mention so just that today was a good day I did PT for an hour and a half and I am thinking about adding I'm thinking about adding yoga into that and I know I always say tell people I don't like yoga it's not that I don't like yoga I just want it to be and I always say this after I mention what I feel about yoga I just want it to be easier you know it's so good for you but it's like one more thing that's not easy right but I find it interesting that no doctors or PT, no one has mentioned doing yoga. Everybody talks about swimming. I do not like swimming like that, but everybody talks about swimming. Swimming, swimming, swimming. It's like, all right, enough about the swimming. But yoga, I don't hear a lot about the yoga, you know? So I'm going to spend the next 300, what, 55 days doing a little yoga every day as well. So I did plank today. Like I said, I was gonna start planking, and I did. So I thought I couldn't do more than 30 seconds. So you know how you, I'd start the timer, I didn't wanna look at it, so I was just like, okay, when I start to feel tired, where I just can't do it anymore, I'll just stop. I'm not gonna look at the timer till after I stop. And I wish I had looked at the timer before I stopped, because I was at 58 seconds. I could not believe it, 58 seconds. That was amazing because I don't feel like I've been doing that much, but I guess all of this PT and OT is paying off and you know, I still have that there. My muscles are still there. All the work I put in is still there. It's just not there, you know, here. I can't see it, but it's under there. So I was very pleased with that. And I'm just gonna continue to plank every day along with PT, like everything. And I'm just gonna add in some yoga because I know it's good for me and I know that that stretching would just be amazing. Now I do stretch, you know, deep stretch yoga. I know a lot of those moves. I do those on my own. So I will start, you know, non deep stretch yoga. I have so many videos, just so much information about it. So I do know a lot of yogis. So if I have questions, I will reach out, but I'm pretty sure I can find a lot of stuff that I needed them at the very, very, very beginning. So yeah, but I am going to start doing that. I want to just start to incorporate everything. I've always felt about exercise that I needed to be out of breath, you know? That's why I love boxing. And speaking of which, you know, boxing, 
doing actual boxing that I started doing this year is really hard. You know, it's a lot harder than what I thought boxing was supposed to be. Like real boxing is harder. It's a lot harder and it's a lot more rewarding because you do feel like you're actually, I feel like, okay, now I can actually throw a punch and not break my hand or some stupid shit. But yeah, so there are, you know, sometimes it's worth it. You know, a lot of times, I guess, good things. What was that saying? I don't know. Something about things being easy aren't the best. I don't know, whatever. But sayings are not always great anyway. But sometimes, you know, you got to put in the hard work and the payoff is great. So it was great for boxing. I think it'll be great for yoga. So I am going to incorporate that yoga in there. So hopefully this fan isn't too loud. I'm in the sunroom where I always am because I like the sunroom, but it's hot. We have the windows open for the cats, and so it's pretty warm. I have the fan on. Maybe I'll turn the fan off or turn it down. We'll see. Let's see. I'll turn it down without knocking anything over. So, yeah, I turned it down. Hopefully it wasn't too loud. So, what was that? Yoga? Yes, going to do yoga. And that was pretty much it. I don't know. I thought today was a good day. I took my time you know doing things and it's just about being patient with myself being patient with myself my brain is a lot clearer today though so that's great i did take the walker and put it in the garage today so i was very happy about that i do have to still use my cane but i'm getting a new cane and it's fine i'm actually happy because i can do things that i want to do and walk farther than for you know walk for longer than four minutes so and spend time with my family outside so I'm happy about that you know normally I would hate to have a cane that's just not the moment I had to get on the cane I was trying to be off the cane you know I just didn't think it was for me I always felt like I was too young for a cane and then I had a handicap decal in my car and I didn't I mean Sometimes, okay, I needed it, but once I started going to PT and I started getting stronger, I didn't need it anymore, so I got rid of it. I didn't get it, I didn't renew it, I let it expire because I felt like, you know, there are other people who are worse off than I am that probably need this and need this space. And I could have kept it for bad days, but I wasn't having any days that bad. I was just, you know, it was my ego, I guess, and being like, that's just not who I am. Is that ego? I guess that is ego. It's like, that's not who I am, you know? I'm stronger than that. I don't need that. I can park all the way in the back and walk as far as I can. And that's what I was happy to do that. So, I mean, I still walk. <laughs> if, if I were to go out now, that's why I'd be glad to have the cane. So I won't need the parking decal thing because I want to walk far. I don't want to park in front of the door. Plus, parking in front of the door, you have to deal with a lot more people. I like to park all the way in the back. And I don't want <laughs> people walking behind my car, trying to park. Nope, I'm parking the back and I'm backed in so I can pull out. But yeah, I don't mind the cane. I've gotten to the point where the cane is okay. So it is just getting to the point where I start accepting those changes, those things that, that are gonna help me long-term. And right now, long-term or short-term is getting out of the house and walking around. And I guess that's long-term too because Mentally, being in the house all the time, I mean, even though I said I was happy to be in the house, it's my family isn't happy being in the house, you know? So I have to be able to go out and do things and spend time with my family and meet people, go to dinners, crap like that that I don't want to do, that normally I wouldn't mind doing, but I'm ready. I'm going to do it. And when the time comes, I probably will have to talk about it. It will probably cause me some anxiety, but it's okay, you know? We have to do things that push us, and that is what is going to push me. Getting out, that's going to help me get out of the house. I mean, I'm going to get my nails done on Tuesday, so that'll be getting out of the house. And I feel like the last time I was there, the last time I was there, I did not look like this. So that's going to be interesting conversation to have. And my nails are really, really far beyond needing to be redone. But, you know, that's just where I am right now. And I'll just talk about it and... It'll be fine. Get my hair rebraided. It's I'm beyond I'm past time for that as well. <laughs> so it's like I am gonna go out and do things, and I will look different to these people than I did the last time they saw me. And it's just everybody knows I have MS, and maybe now they'll maybe look it up and understand more about it. But this is just what it is right now, and I'm just trying to make my peace with that every single day. 
every day get up and do something and just keep my mind clear and positive and understand that this isn't going to be forever you know I won't be dealing with this for forever I mean I'll have MS forever but I won't be I will get past this current episode this current relapse which has really changed everything for me and you know like I tried to make meatloaf I normally can make meatloaf easily I'm not eating meat but you know I make it for my family it's the best meat I can find of course for them and of course I messed it up because I can't remember how to make meatloaf and it's because I don't know I don't know why it's so weird I've made it so many times I don't need a recipe I never have to look it up but tonight I messed it up so it's funny it's like a waste of that meat maybe somebody will eat it make a sandwich I don't know it's more like a burger it's like a big burger maybe I don't know but this is stuff like that you know I just have to take my time cooking and go back to looking at recipes if I have to it's just stuff like that that normally would just make me so upset and I do feel like you know I've been on here for 10 days why am I not perfectly better by now why am I why am I still forgetting things you know but this is probably the first time I've accepted I have MS in trying to do the things I have to do to get better. So, day 10, and I'm gonna keep going. So yeah, come along if you want. <laughs>